here coming to you with another makeup tutorial but this time this one has actually been a request on some bridal looks and I'm so glad that somebody did ask that because of the fact that I'm getting married here in a couple of weeks so I have decided that I would come up with a few different different choices to to use and I actually need your help to help me figure out which look I'm going to wear for my wedding day. So this one is the first one. This one is not so dramatic, but yet it has some color to it, not the standard neutral colors or anything like that. So, But I probably will have a few of those. You never know. <laughs> so just stay tuned and keep watching and, and cast your vote on which bridal look I'm going to wear on my wedding day here soon. So let's get started on this one. So let's go. Alright everyone, to get started we're going to take our eye base primer because I'm using a cream shadow for my base and I don't want that to crease. So with a clean finger just apply that all over your eyelid. Just also right underneath your brow and then because we're going to take a little bit down below just kind of swoop it down underneath your waterline as well. Next. I'm taking from Revlon and it's their cream shadow and it's from their palette called Wild Orchids. So I'm just going to go in with this color here and it's kind of on the lightest purple. And so with a clean finger, go ahead and pick some up with your finger and this is the best way to apply it by, unless you know um, a different method by maybe using a like a sponge brush or so. Um, but just pick a little bit up and start spreading that all over your eyelid. Like so. After that, I'm taking from Wet n Wild Color Palette Petal Pusher. In there, I'm going to take um, the closest color since I've got blue in my, in my um, wedding scheme. I'm going to take their bottom color here, which has a lot of like the blues and purples deflects in it. So I'm just going to take kind of like a stiffy brush here and pick a little bit up and I'm going to pat that color all over our cream shadow that we applied. Also using the same brush, we're going to go in and we're going to go underneath our eye, right just below the waterline and drag that down. So next, taking another Wet n Wild color palette. Um, I don't know the name of this one, unfortunately, but if you've got kind of a lighter brown with gold re um, like reflections in it, um, you certainly can do that. Or you can take a darker brown, which is like on the other side right here. You can use one of those too. And we're actually going to take that color and we're going to put this right on the crease and just kind of swoop over the the crease here and in the outer V and blend that very well. I'm going to pick up the lighter color up here which is close to my skin tone so more of like a creamy uh, yellow tone would work and just pick up with like an angle brush and just Go over that brown color just below your your eyebrow and swoop it back and forth to blend the brown in to give it a much more softer line. So going back to our petal pusher uh, color palette, I'm actually going to go in now. Be the best way to do this <laughs> is with their darker purple that they have in here. So it's got more of a copper reflections in it as well. I'm just going to take my angle brush, so I'll clean that very well. I'm just going to lightly pick some up on the corner of that brush. And just to give myself a little definition, I'm just going to lightly brush that in my outer V. With a black pencil, a lighter pencil, just go in on the bottom on your waterline 
and line that just about midway point. We don't want to close our eye off. We want to keep it light and open. Alright, take that also and just lightly pull and put a line just above your eyelashes. Okay everyone, at this point what you could do, you can go ahead and apply false lashes if you like. I'm not going to do that at this point. I haven't, haven't quite debated if I wanted to do false lashes or not. Some people I say I should, some people say no, go all natural. I haven't quite decided. But if you wanted to, you certainly can. At this point I'm just going to take my Clinique uh, double mascara here and I'm just going to go ahead and put that on my lashes on the top and bottom so I have that nice thick fullness to them. Alright, so to do my face, I'm just taking my Modems Cosmetic, um, it's a custom blend foundation that I actually had um, a consultant at the time make it up for me so it actually matches my skin tone. So I'm going to quickly apply that all over my face and typically you would um, use a brush or a sponge but because we're in a time crunch, I'm just using my hand. <laughs> what I absolutely love, and I fell in love with this, um, by actually watching another reviewer's channel, and she talked about Revlon's Photo Revly Concealer. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, so here, I mean, I've got a couple blemishes down on my chin. Got a little bit underneath my eye. Cover that. Don't want any dark circles on my big day. So basically, by using this, it helps re you know reflect the light and cover um, any imperfections. And oh, I've used it on on another wedding party before, and it's just awesome. I just love it how how it just covers really nicely. So just put that underneath my eye or any red blemishes or anywhere else you've got imperfections and just blend that. Alright, so to set my face, just because I don't want my makeup to cake or flake off or melt or anything like that on my big day. So, I've, um, from the concealer, I've also got the Revlon Photo Finishing Powder, and this one's in Fair to Light. So, just taking a just, um, kind of like a stippling brush, just kind of swirl that in. And then basically just kind of swirling it around. Alright, so with an angle brush, I'm going in with a Maybelline Beach Plum. I've used this in another video. This one's got more of a nice, like, deep pink with a bronzy effect to it. So, I'm going to use this, pick some up on my brush, and I'm going to actually go in like the sockets of my cheeks so it can give me that definition and then I'll apply a very light layer on the apples of my cheeks. For the lips I'm taking L'Oreal's Color Rich Timeless Coral. It's a lip pencil. I don't know if they still make this anymore, but any like mauvey coral like color will work. So we're just gonna line our lips. Kind of fill it in. Then I'm taking this is from New York or NYC. <laughs> NYC. Um, it's the 314. It's called Petal. Now this one, if I can open it up here, has a very nice pinky tone to it. And we're just going to put that all over our lips. And then I am going to take my Modems Cosmetic <laughs> uh, Lip Gloss. Now this one is um, their Lip Plumper and it's got a very nice um, effect to it. It's 
when you apply it on, you definitely feel the tingle, but you don't feel that that harshness of, I guess, of a tingle. And in nice, and it does kind of give your not seeing your breath that nice minty feeling, but it has that cleanliness of like a like a toothpaste too. So this one is in Temptress. I love it. I am super pumped about it. So go ahead and just apply that or any lip plumper or any color in a nice pink tone if you can see it. All right, everybody, this is our final result on our bridal inspired look. Now, being that this is the first one, I haven't quite decided if I like this look or not, so I need your help to let me know uh, if this is gonna be a winner or not. So if you liked it, please vote thumbs up and let me know in the comment box below if you wanna have this look on my wedding day. If not, I will have more up so you cast your votes on which one I should wear on my wedding day. But other than that, I had fun. I mean, I really like how the purple blue hues kind of work with each other and it's very light and airy, not so over dramatic, but yet it still gives it a little bit of color. But let me know if this is one that you like. Other than that, you guys take care and we will see you soon. Bye.